Hello guys, this is boy KNL Gamer. Um, I'm not coming at you with some gameplay yet. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm gonna come with a gameplay like five seconds. Sorry about the barking. I don't know who dog that is. We have a lot of dogs up here. But I'm going to teach you guys how to download the little map packs for your iOS device. So first you want to go get downloads like from the app store. Do you want to go on YouTube and you want to get the download link, which is this. No, I'm not going to download it because I'm not sure it's going to mess it up because you know iOS these days. But, you go, you press download. When you press download, you should just... Be, and this is only for jailbroken devices. Sorry if you guys started the video. But, then you go to iFile. When you go to iFile... Hold on. When you go to iFile, you want to go to that download. Downloads like... You want to go to Documents, and then you want to go to whatever map you download it. <clears throat> Now when you go there, you're going to have a zip file. The file, you need to unzip. So you hold select. You hold it, select it. No, wait, wait, wait. Actually, you just tap it. And then press an a cariver, unchiver, and cariver, unchiver. I don't know. So I'm going to do this for you guys. I don't know if it's going to mess up my maps or anything. Alright, now when you do that, it should have this. Then you want to just copy that. When you copy, you want to go all the way down, <clears throat> all the way back to Minecraft Pocket Edition. When you go there, you want to click on Documents, Games, um, whatever that says, dot .com, Mojang, Minecraft Worlds. Then you want to hold your screen and it should say Paste. I'm not going to do it, just in case you know. But, when you do that, here's the tricky part. You want to click on it, right? Hold on, let me... Ah, cancel. Alright, so then you want to click on it. When you click on it, here's the tricky part. It's not done yet. You're not done. You don't just go play the game. You want to go into the little information thing. You want to change the owner to mobile and use it to rewrite and execute. If you do, and you have to do that for all of these. If you don't do that for all of these, then guess what? You don't have the map. How about that? So, these, so I just tried this one. <clears throat> See, so I'm going to do this for you guys. I didn't change it to mobile. So you want to go to mobile and then user. You just want to put execute, write, and read. Read and write should still be there. It should just be execute. Then you want to press done. And remember, you want to do this. Oops. Actually, I fucked that up. <laughs> Excuse me. So, I forgot what. Okay, leave that on root. Leave that on root. What you want to do is <clears throat> you want to click on the map thing. Don't click on the players, but you got to do exactly what I just told you for each of them. Mobile, rewrite, execute. And when you do that, you should be able to go back, <clears throat> go into your Minecraft game, and click on the map. Now, instead of it spawning you in a uh, random seed, you should be able to spawn in one of these, which is awesome, you guys. And I was having trouble, but I found somebody that helped me out. But this is going to sound crazy to you guys. I could not comment and tell him thank you. I don't even remember his name for crying out loud. But I just want to say thank you, whoever's out there that made that video for me, because I could not find maps, and now I'm going to start doing my new Let's Play. So I thank you very much for teaching me this. Uh, KNL out.